Riders for Health, remote areas, had very difficult time taking their sick people to health facilities. Not all villages are accessible, the roads are not good, but also not all villages have transports. They have donkey carts, they have wheelbarrows, people carrying their children, grown-up children, on their backs and walking for hours to get to the health facility. Imagine putting a, a woman in labor on a donkey cart or a wheelbarrow. In my community, I am covering like 10 villages. And then I'm living in one to screen for children who are malnourished. And then we give feeds to them at our level. And those who you know are less than six months, we refer them to health facility. In, in my job, reaching out to people is very fundamental, it's very important. If I didn't have a motorbike, I think I would not be able to do it. Our work is not only on children. Sometimes we have these elderly aged people who are in the village and who cannot have that access to the health facility. Imagine having a fleet of motorcycles, well managed, well serviced, well-maintained and adequately fueled, imagine. By supporting us, by supporting our people in the country. All the money coming from Two Wheels for Life supports our program. And those support saves life. It's of no use sending us a motorcycle without training and maintenance package. If you adhere to your maintenance schedules, you Parts are available, foil is available. You are saving lives. It's important that you, you support Two Wheel for Life because it makes a difference. Anyone that dies because of lack of one thing that people take for granted in developing countries, whilst others are having it and they are not sharing, I think that should prick everybody's conscience. We need to help those who are needy so that tomorrow we will be able to all enjoy the kind of health care that is being enjoyed in the developed countries.